Welcome to The Honest Channel, I'm Claire Johnston and today I want to address a topic that's been on my mind lately. It's something that affects us all but isn't very often discussed. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm a journalist who set out to understand and to share how to age well, look our best and feel great at any age. And in addition to the content here, you can find more advice and information on healthy ageing and skincare over on my website honest.scot. But I'm going to talk frankly now about what's been bothering me and that's the idea of looking our age. So let's start the conversation. I'm 50 and I like to think that I look and feel youthful most days but recently a viewer's comment kind of got to me and it's not the first time this has happened but this time I actually stopped to unpick my reaction. So this viewer commented that I looked early 50s and it got me thinking why do I feel offended by that? I mean I think it was probably meant to be a little offensive but why is it when that's my age? If I was 19 and someone said I looked 20 there would be zero offence taken. So why is telling an older person they look their age a problem? Why is looking our age seen as a weakness or a vulnerability and something people feel they can hit you with? And why did I allow myself to receive that as a put down. Well every time I share my skincare routine and what keeps my skin in good condition I'll always receive really supportive and kind comments which I'm so appreciative of. But there's always that one comment that lingers, the one that says, honey you look every bit your age and don't let anyone tell you differently. And actually at the heart of comments like that and in allowing ourselves to feel any level of offence it's just good old fashioned ageism against ourselves and others that needs to be confronted. It's a belief somewhere deep in society that youth holds more currency, more relevancy. And yet, here's the thing, I'm enjoying being this age more than any other. This is actually a time of my life when I finally accept and even like myself or who I am. I even like how I look, wrinkles and all, and I'm more aware of my own potential at 50 than I've ever been. I'm not winding down. I feel now like I'm just getting started. So if I'm really happy with my stage in life, why do I take someone saying I look younger than my age as a compliment while another saying I look my age or older as an insult? So I don't need or even really want people to think I'm younger than I am. My skincare and self-care routines are about being the best I can be at this age. And my ultimate goal? To stay mobile and active and of sound mind, hopefully for my entire life. But even when I'm feeling unwell, I do make an effort to look well because it sends a message to my brain that I'm on the mend. So I'll get up, I'll take a shower and style my hair, maybe even put a little blusher on my cheeks. And I think it's just an element of wanting to look good, to feel good, to stay positive. And my interest in looking fresh and vibrant is an expression of my intention to try to age well. But equally I don't want to chase down every wrinkle and sometimes I do feel myself tipping into that and I want to make sure that by being so focused on anti-aging skincare and lifestyle habits on this channel that I'm not somehow adding to a message that it's bad to age or it's wrong to show our age and to embrace it. For me it's about striking a balance between staying my authentic self as I age while preserving my physical and mental well-being as best I can and looking and feeling vital. So it's not wrinkles we should be focused on, it's staying strong, combating muscle wastage and maintaining bone density. That's the real essence of aging well. So let's not beat ourselves up for getting older or use age as an insult, but in the same breath, it's not wrong to try to counter the negative effects of aging. We just need to find a balance that works for us so we can feel good about ourselves at any age. And I want to inspire you through my content to love your life and make the most of each stage in life and that's something I'm going to keep in mind with every new video. And there's a fantastic movement on social media which you should check out. It's called hashtag I look my age and it's challenging ageism and celebrating individual experiences of aging and saying there's no right or wrong with how we choose to age or express our age. It also makes the point we shouldn't be criticizing each other for it or using age as a reason to belittle another person. And so if I think someone looks great, they're healthy, they're glowing, I'm going to try to stop complimenting them on looking great for their age and just tell them they look great. So today I can say yes I look my age and that's okay and next time someone comments with words to that effect I'm just going to drop a little hashtag I look my age as a response and 
he'll know what that means. So what do you think? Have you found the balance between looking and feeling your age? How do you handle it? Let's discuss it in the comments below. And as always, thank you for joining me on the Honest channel. If you enjoyed this video and want more honest conversations like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So be good to yourselves and I'll see you next time.